Amber, how about you stay in Mexico for a while? No need. I want to see how Emma plans to step on me next. Nathan was worried Amber wouldn't be able to handle the criticism after the cover shoot backlash. He didn't want Amber to get too stressed during her pregnancy. But for Amber, the final selection for the Top 10 Model Awards was the priority. Since she didn't do well at the photo shoot, all she could do was speak with the judges herself. Fine then. We'll go straight home. Emma's return to New York was glorious. When she arrived at the airport, her fans welcomed her by holding up signs screaming her name. This grand display was something Global Pictures should have been proud to see. But deep down, her cheating ex Nathan was fuming with anger. He couldn't believe his plans to end Emma's career were crushed so badly. They say karma hits back like a deadly storm, and it was time Amber and Nathan had their dues. I failed too miserably and fallen too painfully. There was nothing Nathan could do besides place all his hope in Mia and her plan. Otherwise, he would fall into the depths of disgrace like Amber had. Do I really have no choice but to contact my mother? On the car ride home from the airport, Nathan looked through the news about Emma and Amber on his phone. His eyebrows scrunched up as he read. When they got home, he locked himself in his study to make some phone calls. He still had the burning rage to take down Emma. Amber felt uneasy. She knew Global did not belong solely to Nathan. With her reputation now ruined, Nathan was trapped in a difficult position between Amber and the company. Gary, help me find out who the judges of the Top 10 Model Awards are. Amber, what are you planning to do? Don't do anything crazy. I'm sure if you just rest, you can return to the runway soon. I'm not willing to give up without one last gamble. Just do what I asked. How much longer do you think Nathan can hold on to his position? Global shareholders are pressuring him nonstop to give up on me. It's only a matter of time before one of us is let go. And if I go, I will take you with me. Do you want to return to your old job selling hot dogs on the street? Gary froze for a moment. He didn't want to do what she asked, but he knew he had no other option. If his assumptions were right, what she was planning to do would tear a gash in her relationship with Nathan, one that may never heal. But he knew that, apart from sleeping with one of the judges, there wasn't much else she could do to turn the tables now. Amber, you're still carrying a child. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. The dark reality of the entertainment industry had made an impression on her. Before the incident with Secret Magazine, she used to think Nathan was someone she could rely on. But then, in her moment of defeat, Nathan had just watched her suffer. That's when she realized that he wasn't reliable at all. If she really wanted that award, she was going to have to get it herself. In his study, Nathan was still worried and wondering how to protect Amber. Meanwhile, she was already thinking about how to betray him. The ISN commercial had begun shooting, so Emma hadn't taken a single step into Global Pictures in the time she'd been back. It wasn't until two days later, when the shoot was finished, that she finally returned to headquarters. Nathan had requested a meeting with her and Ashley, so the two of them made their way into his office. Emma, you've already gotten what you want. Don't be too hard on Amber. Give her a chance to survive. When we were in Mexico, did you give me a chance? If you won't back down, then don't expect me to either. You! Nathan's tongue was tied for a moment. He knew if the situation had been reversed and Amber were the successful one, they would have gone to extreme measures to stop Emma from ever making a comeback. So, though he was still angry, he also began to feel a sense of regret. So he vented out his anger on Ashley. Ashley, pack your things and prepare to work with a different artist. I found a new manager for Emma. What game are you trying to play now? Emma, your contract has three years left. Ashley is a manager under our company, and I can make her do what I want. You have no right to interfere. Then the least you could do is tell me who my new manager is. Ashley's flustered heart quickly calms down. She knew Emma would get a better manager sooner or later. But she also knew she couldn't continue to work for Global after having betrayed Amber to take Emma's side. But Emma's gaze told her that even if Emma couldn't keep her, she wouldn't let her be thrown to the wolves. Tomorrow night, the company will hold a celebration dinner for you. At that time, your new manager will be introduced. Don't worry, she's much more skilled than Ashley. You won't be any worse off. You don't think I'm still trying to sabotage you, do you? Emma didn't say anything. Of course, she didn't trust Nathan, but she couldn't just refuse, or else there would be no end to this. She had to make sure she remained in power. Where's Ashley? Nathan's arranged for her to take care of other artists and has found a new manager for me. Who is it? 
Emma didn't respond. She simply put on her sunglasses and gestured to Lisa that it was time to leave. When she and Lisa made it back to Tribeca, Eric was already at home. After hearing what had happened to her that day, he sat back in his chair for a moment, lost in thought. Eric, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mia! Eric gazed at Emma seriously as he tried to figure out what Mia's plan could be. She can't continue working in Mexico, so of course she would come here and try to use you to make a comeback. Plus, her dream is to control you and make you surrender to her. Of course, it won't be difficult for you to shake her off. Emma smiled slightly. Seeing her expression, Lisa felt a sense of relief. She knew a small obstacle like this wouldn't be able to stand in Emma's way. Her act of revenge was set to take place after the Top 10 Model Awards. So, Lisa knew that Emma had already planned for anything that could happen between now and then. You still don't plan on leaving Global? It's not time yet. Emma needed to land one final blow to completely destroy Amber. There was no way she would let those two off so easily. But you should decide on your next goal. Now that people are talking about you, your next goal should be... I need a significant award. Emma knew how quickly news passed in the industry. Today, everyone could be talking about her. But tomorrow, someone new could come along and take all that attention away. But by receiving an award, she would be able to finally establish her place in the entertainment world. But Eric, I'm already 26 years old. I can't sign up for modeling competitions like I did when I was 17. And the awards I received in the past lost their value when Star King Entertainment blacklisted me. Back then, I retreated too quickly and burned too many bridges. In the past, she had done everything she could to be with Nathan, including giving up her career. My best modeling years, my most lucrative years, I selfishly gave them all to Nathan. But what did I get from him in return? Emma didn't regret what had happened. After all, it had been her own choices that had led her down that road. But now, she had to face the consequences of her foolish mistakes. Eric's heart ached for her. If I had met her earlier, maybe she wouldn't have gone through all this pain. It doesn't matter. If you can't enter a competition, just work hard as a model. If you need to attend shows or appear in magazines, I'll be right there with you. We can make use of the good exposure. After all, your true battle will be with the industry itself. Just don't put too much pressure on yourself, babe. Don't worry. With you by my side, I won't get discouraged. I think the best way for you to forget about the past to let me love you deeply. Her ears flushed red. She knew what he was thinking. You haven't eaten yet, and you've been working hard all day. Do you still have the energy? I guess the only way to find out is if I prove it. Eric kissed Emma passionately and carried her to the bedroom. Meanwhile, back at Amber's place, Gary had been doing research on the judges for Amber. He discovered there were seven judges, three women and four men. Amber ignored the three female judges and set her sights on one of the men, a 40-something-year-old with a dark and mysterious past. Gary, call this judge and tell him I'd like to meet with him. Amber... I know what you're thinking, but if I don't do this, I'll lose both Nathan and my career, and then I'll have nothing left. Amber's voice was cold and cruel. Right now, she knew her future at Global was uncertain. If she couldn't find a way back to the top, Emma might push her even lower into despair than she already had. What will happen when Nathan will learn of her betrayal? Will Amber succeed in her sinister plan? What plans Emma has in store to tackle Mia? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.